Part of the reason of the success of air shows is because of Curtis Pitts. Curtis gave us a lot of things. The knowledge that he had in his head and then the ability for us to get in the air with planes like the Pitt Specials. Without Curtis's great contribution, air shows would not be what they are today. Well, whenever you got into a jam building your Pitt Special or you're trying to figure out how to fix it right, all you had to do was call Homestead, Florida. On the other end of the phone there was Curtis Pitts. Ma or Pa Pitts would answer your questions and get you right back flying again. And for all those years of support for helping us out in all endeavors and for your great air show contributions, Curtis Pitts, we salute you. You are the best. <laughs> Curtis Pitts' pioneering efforts to design the Pitts Special, fine tune it, and make it widely available have had a more significant impact on air shows today than almost anything else. From the first prototype to the hundreds of Pitts Specials that have performed at air shows over the last half century, to the design ideas integrated into today's high performance monoplanes, much of what air show flying is all about today can be traced back to the Pitt Special. What, what an airplane, I was hooked right from the start. I was hooked before I even flew one, like about 15 years before I flew one. I had to have a Pitts, I always wanted a Pitts. I got one now and I know how to fly it, I tell you what, Curtis, and thank you so much uh, from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of all of our hearts. You know, I guess it doesn't take an aeronautical engineer, it just takes some good American ingenuity and hard work, and, uh, and you did that and you gave us this wonderful airplane. Thank you. It was, but it was the most fun, happy sort of plane that I've ever had. It had the biggest personality, and when you were flying it, you could see the, you could, you know, see it sort of smiling, and you could feel it breathing with the rag wings, and, uh, and I've never had that kind of feeling in a monoplane. So uh, I have a very special place in my heart for Pitsos. In 1990, a group of aerobatic pilots from all over the world gathered in Florida to help Curtis Pitts celebrate his birthday. Here's what they had to say about his contributions to aerobatics. Curtis didn't invent aerobatics. He didn't invent biplanes. He didn't invent the concept of small planes with big engines. He did, however, reinvent all of those factors and mold them into the image we now know as modern aerobatics. He and his little airplanes completely rewrote the aerobatic history books and opened up the world of serious aerobatics and pure high performance to the masses. As a result of his efforts, an individual with dedication and a yearning for the third dimension could take a roll of drawings and convert them into a ball of lightning that would never fail to take their breath away. There's a sticker that you'll often see on the flight bags and airplanes of aerobatic pilots that says, a Pitts is something special, and that doesn't just refer to the airplane. Curtis Pitts, you are a very, very bad man. Do you know, in your career, how many divorces you caused? You know what you did wrong? You built these wonderful biplanes. I remember in 1975 when I bought my first biplane from you, I was full of promise. I had a future. I could have been a contender. My daddy wanted me to be a lawyer, but oh no. Oh no, we couldn't do that. We had to fly these biplanes. We had to become the sky dancers. And now look at me. Traveling around the country, sharing the magic of flight, and it's all your fault, Mr. Pitts. All I gotta say is thank you very, very much. <laughs> <laughs>